Shepherd of a soul, Savior of a soul, Lover of a soul. We are on the Lord's side. We will never give up. We Hallelujah. The book of First Timothy, chapter three, verse fifteen. First Timothy three, verse fifteen. Okay. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. But if I tarry long, that thou mayest know how thou oughtest to behave thyself in the house of the, in the house of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and the ground of the truth. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us here about the church. And in this message, we'll be maybe looking at two perspectives or more. Number one, about those who refuse to say the truth. And two, who refuse to know, uh, hear the truth. So the follow up this morning, the topic is the church is the pillar and ground of the truth. The church is the pillar and ground of the truth. But it's unfortunate that in most cases, the church has been turned to a place of life. And I pray God will have mercy in Jesus' name. Amen. The reason why a man should take his or her son and go and enroll in any school is because he wants that person to know. It's because he wants that person to understand to have future is because he want that person tomorrow to become somebody. That is why he know staying at home will not help. And he said, let me go and do what? Let me go and improve this my child, that my child in school. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And he go ahead and enroll the person, uh, the child in the school so that he can learn what will help him or her in the future. So the church, that is the reason. That is the purpose. Christ view the church. That is the purpose God established the church. To be a place where his children will learn what we take them to his kingdom. He established the church so that they can have a place to guide them into the truth. Because without the truth, there is no how heaven is sure. Heaven is ever far from whosoever that know not the truth. The church is supposed to be the pillar of the church or the, of the truth, which it is, whether we like it or not. 
But it's unfortunate, as I said before, some don't want to speak it. And some want to speak it. I mean, some are speaking it, but some are not taking it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The aspect of the that the truth is being told. Many are angry whenever the truth comes. Many are angry. How ah, can you just like what make uh, the disciples, not the twelve now, in the book of John says, how the disciple who Christ anointed and sent them two by two to go and preach the word. The seventy-two. But after what, what happened? When they return back and Christ now made them to understand, to expand their understanding more, to expand, expand their heart more about the kingdom of God. And they say, ah, how can you, this, this little child, how can you tell me that I need to eat body, your body and drink of blood before I can enter your kingdom? This is her saying. He is actually said the truth. But what happened? People refuse to accept the truth. They refuse to accept the truth. This is this and that is what we allow you to enter the kingdom of God. They say, ah, can you tell us eh, if only common uh, 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 the, the penty or breaching with Lord me here is not true. The Lord looks at what are the hearts. So therefore, this cannot take me out of the kingdom of God. So leave me alone and let me keep on doing it. And they continue doing it. And the truth continue to come. Many children of God today, the Lord is asking them, are you also going to go away? Many have gone away from the truth. Gone away because of the truth that was said to them. What are we talking about? The, is that the church is supposed to be the pillar of the truth. Anything that you do not see in the church, any truth that is being said in the church that you refuse, you, re, you should know completely you are not refusing that church or the truth. You are refusing eternal life. Two things are involved. When you accept one, you must automatically not accept one. If you refuse heaven, automatically you are refusing her, you are accepting her. If you refuse her, automatically you are accepting what? Heaven. That is the truth. There's no, no, the th there's no thought for them. The thought is meant to speak the truth. The th thought is meant to Tell us the thing that we help me and you. As I said before, when Christ told them, you must do this. And they said, you, I better go away. And they went away. And the Lord asked the other twelve, will you also go away? But thank God for God that they said, to whom shall we go? When you are the words of eternal life. The word of eternal life is supposed to be in the church. But many have neglected it. Are you also among? It's a question to me and you. The church, he said, which is the church of the living God? The pillar and the ground of the truth. Many a times, even here, when the message is coming, many of us will be angry. This is her saying. And many are even saying only between them and God. Hey, God, this one that is said today is a hard one. Are you sure I can stay? Even many have on, on their own inside went by, but they are just there with their body. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The church is the pillar and the ground of the truth. Remember, I said we are looking at two, two, two parts. Though that the truth is being told, but they refuse it. Just as in the case of Christ 
and the disciple. The truth was told by Jesus Christ. Some refuse it and some what accept it. Exactly the same thing is still happening to today. It's only those that know, yes, Christ, because the 12 disciples know Jesus Christ is the real word of God. They said, to whom shall we go? For you alone have the word of eternal life. That is to say, if I go, I, I have gone out of life. Anybody that gone out of the uh, truth, have gone out of us, automatically out of life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you tell the people, many children of God today, Uh, this is what the Lord said we should do. He said you must not marry two wives. They'll begin to remember where we just read now in the Bible, the man that wrote it, Solomon. How many wives did Solomon have? How can you tell us, is it my own time now that, do you mean that God was not existing there? Oh, so now is is the time. Uh, uh, if if so, so time Abraham this that the, how many wives they were having? They don't want to hear the truth. I told the pastor by the grace of God one day as is my friend. I said, Bro, uh, my beloved, because he has a child. I said. It's not the way you should tell this thing to your member. He went ahead and told me that the Lord does not look at appearance or look at the house. A good Bible reader will know what the Lord is saying in the book of 2 Corinthians 7 verse 1. And 1 Thessalonians 5 24 and 23. That tells you the Lord is interested in both of our body and the inner man. You cannot take care of the inner man and leave the outward man and expect heaven to come. It will not come. It's not possible. If you take care of your inner man, take care of your outside man too. If you take care of your outside man, take care of the inner man because they are important to God. But many people refuse to hear the truth. If you abandon the truth, whom are you accepting? You know the answer. If the truth is not found in the church, if the truth is not told, why am I going to I am going to school, the teacher is not teaching. I know one thing. Those days, Many people remove their children from, from one school to the other because they said they are not teaching. Because this is the purpose why I, I wrote my children here. But they are not teaching them. So why are they here? I better remove them here and take them to where they will teach them. But today is another one. It's a pity that people are running away from where the truth is here and going to where the truth is not be told. And they said they want to work. Make heaven. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us in the book of 2 Corinthians 4, I mean, 1 2 Timothy 4, 2 to 4. You that is rejecting the truth, hear the word of the Lord, we are, we are about to read. 2 Timothy 2 to 4. I mean, 2 Timothy chapter 4, 2 to 4. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen too. Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebu rebuke, exalt with all long suffering and doctrine. Three, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own loss shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears for it, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. Amen. Amen. We are talking to by talking to those who are running away from the truth. In this area, the Lord is telling the preacher, those that are saying the truth, 
not to us to withdraw, but to continue saying it. Because when the 70, 72 or 70 went away, Jesus Christ do not cease speaking the truth. So, as we know, he left us as an example. You must keep on saying it as far as the word of God and is the word of truth. He said, preach the word be eastern in city and even out of city. Reprove, rebuke continually as seeing what the Lord is telling you to tell the people. As all with all long suffering and doctrine. Do not fear man. Because if you fear man, you that is going to evangelism, listen to this. Maybe you may say you don't. Uh, I'm not pretty in pulpit like this. I am telling you, as I you are ever going off evangelism, you are among those that the Lord is talking to here right now. Don't not say because the people don't want to hear it, you should stop. Because if you try it, you and them we have the self to blame. Keep on saying the truth. Don't because of faces to stop telling what. The Lord is telling you to tell the people. Continue to rebuke. Who wants to hear? Let him hear. Continue to, to exhort with all long suffering. Continue long suffering. Remember. Yes, people are your own daughter too much. That is the long suffering now. You should not, because of that, now to say you will not say it because you will be whole responsible. You should not say, hey, hey, is there, oh, if that person, if I speak this to one, maybe well, hey, this woman is the, the, the highest supporter of this ministry. Oh, let me not tell her to remove her hearing, oh, because if I do, she will go away. Uh, you will go as if she's going away. You know where you are going to. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Exhort, continue to exhort. Continue to say it. Whether I like it or not, it is not left for me to accept it. If I thought I am angry and provided God is not angry, only where I should be, I should fed up is when God is angry. But as far as human being that is angry, I must not stop to what? Exhort, rebuke. And what? Proof for the time we call, even it's already here now. I've many not gone out of even Martin Solution. Go and ask them, most of them, the reason most of them is because of the truth, it's because they said it's something is too. Uh, how can we how can we remain like this? Many have gone. The other time, the family of God was, uh, uh, I hear him telling somebody, look at him, my woman like this, have renounced his faith. Why? Many of us have renounced our faith, even on neutrals. Because anytime the truth is coming and you think it's too hard, you are angry, you are renounced our faith already. That is the truth. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. It's already happened. People want miracle now. Nobody ever, uh, maybe in so many churches today, the only word made them to tap up and go on, go ahead, is if anybody that is stopping you is seven day time, he did not die. You know, I am not man of God. Not the truth again. Tell them now, the Lord just said that every woman on this church, in this church, should stop coming to the church without her tie, without a uh, trouser. You never, you will not hear Papa continue. I tell you the truth. They will not hear Papa talk. I, how can you be in a church? All true service is prophecy. There is a man here. And, uh, the Lord say, not throughout the year, you will not hear one word of God. And that is where people want to belong. But where did truth is preached? Look at what the Bible tells us in the book of 
Isaiah chapter 2, 1 to 4. Isaiah chapter 2, 1 to 4. Isaiah 2, 1 to 4. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The word that Isaiah... The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem too, and it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord shall, house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow unto a three. And many people shall go and say, Come ye and let us go, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his path, for out of Zion shall go for the Lord, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem, for, and he shall judge among the nations, and shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their sword into plowshells, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they plain Learn war anymore. Amen. Amen. The Bible says in verse 2, God bless you, daughter of God, more grace in Jesus' name. It said, and all nations shall flow into it. Today, nobody wants to flow into where there is truth. We want to flow. You can imagine that we, uh, people want to go to where they know that they don't have professor. They don't have work. They want it, they go to a place where pastor will tell them in seven day time you will build marshal. When they know they don't even have job. When they know they don't even have profession. When they know they, 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 they are even wheelbarrow pusher. Know that I, I am not directed there. But how I know God can do miracles. Many are flowing out of the truth. Instead of flowing in, look at what the Bible tells us. He said, and, and shall be exalted above the hill, and all nations shall flow into it. But today, nations are flowing out of what? The truth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In verse 3, and many people shall go and say, come ye. Many don't, many, many don't want to hear how many people. You and most of us here that is going to evangelism. How many people have you invited to come to uh, Martin or Solution? How many have followed you? Today is a place where they share money. That prophecy is always raining. And there's no word of God. I tell you, they will come. But because you tell them, no, in this, in the church I go, there is no hearing, there's no makeup, there is no second wife. There's, in anything, girlfriend and boyfriend is not allowed. Attachment and wings is not allowed. Trouser is not allowed. They tell you they cannot come. They don't have chance. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, and many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the, of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his way. Remember the topic. The, the church is the pillar and the grand truth. He, we, the church is to prepare soul for heaven. He said, and teach us of his way, and we will walk in his path. How can you walk in the path of Christ when you don't know the truth? It's not possible. And this is what's supposed to be in the church. But the, the other aspect we are into now is, is to those that say they are preaching the word of God. Whether you are a pastor or whosoever, are you only under, I mean, only evangelism you do, you don't have time to stand in the pulpit. The Lord is talking to you right now. That is refusing to speak the truth to the people of God. You will pay for it. You don't call the, you don't gather children of God to, to tell them about Christ, to tell them what will land in hell and what will land in heaven. The mega churches today go and find how many truth is in the world. Why are the thoughts so loud? It's because the truth is not there. Tell them, uh, how can you tell me uh, I can do wedding? I can I can't wed with ring. That a ring can land me in hair. 
the men go and see the mega churches. You that have what you don't have, you don't tell other. Their hands are full of what they are hard, they have wedding rings in their hands, and you expect them to also tell the other one not to use the use wedding ring. It's not possible. It's not possible. I was hearing some days ago uh, 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 some people that was get that want to get married. They, they were they were arguing about, about ring. If you, I am this church is my own, and you say you want to do it, I tell you what I will use, and you don't want go and look for where to do it. Yes, the reason why the, the people, the celebrant are having that mind is because of you that call yourself the pastor. Because you refuse to stand your ground. To tell them this is what I believe. If you don't want to wear their go, that is it. Uh, you mean wedding ring will land me here. They don't tell the truth. But the church is supposed to be the place to tell them this is and this and no. God does not have time to pet anybody. It's all is to say the truth and leave it. If when the, this, those disciples want to go away, he never paid them. Come, stay. No, he allowed them to go. You have heard the truth. You won't say you didn't hear. No wonder he said in the book of Revelation, He that has what ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Brethren, the church, or you that preacher are there, the church is meant to tell the truth. Is the pillar. There is no building that is standing with a pillar. If there is no pillar in the house you are standing, you cannot stand. For me to be able to stand in holiness and righteousness, there must be something that is how holding me, which is the word of God. That is the pillar. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. A church. Suppose. Not even suppose whether we like it or not is the pillar and ground of the truth. So, brethren, in the law, you that is saying it, continue to what to say it. No that is said, he that is what unjust, let him be what unjust. T. You that is holy, keep on your holiness. It's not what by force. Is what my choice. That is why I said, I set life and death before you. But he advised, choose life so that you may live. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In the book of Galatians, chapters 1, 6 to 10. Galatians 1, 6 to 10. I read in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Verse 6, I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. 7, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. 8, but though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. 9, as we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you, then that ye have received, let him be accustomed. For do I now persuade men, or God, or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord is talking to you, the preacher, the evangelist, you... The Lord is telling you not invest in. He said, for no, I now persuade man is not, you are not to decide whether it's because of that person is the highest title. It's because, uh, I mean, it's not left for me and you to tell the truth. It's not left for me to say, hey, this person is the one of 15 or so. If, if, if not, he will not be able to pay our rent. For this, I will rather not say all. Oh, let me be saying it half and half. The Lord is waiting for you. Who oh, do you not please? Uh, do you not please me or oh God? Answer it yourself. 
The Lord is telling us now, if, anon, if they come to preach another gospel to you, even though it's anger, let it be a cause. But the, the one the Lord is saying, let it be a cause, is the one that we, uh, the one is happy for. Ah, hey, hey, this kind of message we're supposed to, this is the message we are looking for. Not the one, the other one we say, hey, unless you remove the tie, unless you do this, unless you have one wife, unless you do your restriction, unless you pack out of your husband's house if you are second wife. That is not the one. This one is the one we support. The one that's supposed to be a cause is the one that is not blessing today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. The church is the pillar and the grand truth. So, brethren, in the law. You that is saying it, let nobody stop you. You that is angry, you don't want to hear the truth. Better make what are you talking and hold on to the truth. And to you that is preaching it, look at what the Lord is telling me and you. And you that refuse to say it, hear what the Lord said in the book of Revelation. This place is a fearful thing. That even everybody need to pray about. If you know you are ever preached the word of God, you ever evangelize, take note of this place. It's a fearful thing that you need to even pray for, mercy for at any time, even just as I'm doing now. Revelation 22, 18 to, 20, to 19. Revelation 22, verse 18. I read, Revelation 22, 18. I read, Amen. For I testify unto every man that heareth the word of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. 19. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. It's a thing to you that is refusing to speak the whole truth. It's a fearful thing to you that, that is telling the people have and have. This one will repair, you will come and destroy it. The Lord is telling you now, if anyone what added, anyone remove, are you removing from the word of God? Or you are even hardened, you want to help God. Don't worry. The truth is the truth. Nothing added, nothing to be subtracted. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You must not subtract from the word of God. I must not hard. Say it as it is. Why? I cannot help God. You cannot help God. He is the one that says, When I have been lifted up, I will do what? I will draw all men to myself. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I'm saying this now to me and you. You go to evangelism, you are ever telling somebody God loves you. Take care of this place to always ask God for mercy. Always ask questions. God, I violated, I, did I have to your word today when I was preaching or I subtracted? If I do, please have mercy. Because it's a serious say that he that had it, you see what he said, the plan that I written in this book. And he that removed from it also, his name completely, automatically removed from the, the book of life. Why are you then preaching where your name is no more in the book of life? What are you doing in the house of God? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The church is the pillar and the ground truth. So in Toronto, by the grace of God, the church walk is to uphold the truth. The church is a place to what? To edify, to teach, to build up those, to build up the members in the way of Christ. So do all you can that are doing the right thing to make sure that People, God, place under your care. They are fed with the word of God. That is why he said to Peter, feed my words. 
and she praised the Lord. Hallelujah. Feed my what? My she. If the church refuse to speak the truth, who then will speak it? And I pray the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You have heard the word. I have heard the word. Which part do you belong? Are you among those who is always angry when the truth is coming? Or when the truth is being told? Or are you among those who refuse to speak the truth? Two judgment now. One for those who are angry with the truth and one for those who refuse to speak the truth. Many want to hear, but many don't speak it. Many are ready to hear the truth, but unfortunately nobody is there to tell them. Just as many of us we talk, uh, normally say here, if that I know the truth from that, from if that is long, I hear, I start hearing this thing. Have they, have you not been in one of one church or the other? They will tell you yes, but they were not told. And I pray the Lord will help me and you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want us to talk to God. Anywhere I have been angry with the truth, anywhere I have become like the 17 or 72 disciples who refused to hear the truth, unknown to me, Lord, have mercy upon me. Are you also among those? You know the truth, but you refuse to say it because you want your church to be fed. You want the, the church to be known as a as a, a, as a, a mega church, and you are refusing to speak the truth. You are bending the word of God. There is time for you to repent now. Stop leading the children of God to hell. Christ died for them. And you that the Lord love so much and say, let me direct his path. Let me direct her path and he bring the truth. And you are angry of it. Why not beg God for mercy now? Thank God to have mercy on you and give you a ready mind to receive the truth, to accept it, to be the doer of the truth and from today. Tell it to God. Open your mouth and pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Father, in Jesus' name, I give you the praise of the Lord. 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 Last day we are going to pray according to where we read now in that revelation. If you are ever speak the word of God, if you ever explain the word of God to your children, to anyone, I'm going to talk to God. But anywhere I am guilty of Revelation 22, 18 to 19, anywhere I've ever had it to the word of God, anywhere I've ever subtracted from the word of God, or oh, not to me, and he's standing against me, or he has automatically placed play, play on me, or removed my name from the book of life. Oh Lord, have mercy upon me and help me to be accurate from today. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and pray. 
Amen. we are praying. Are you out there? You are not born again. You have been running away from the truth. You have heard it now. Not me that said it. It's written in the book of 1 Timothy 3.15 that the church is the pillar and the ground truth. Why not surrender now to Christ? Why not I invite Jesus into your life now? Why not confess your sin? And take Christ to come into your life. Tell God to forgive you. He's ready to forgive you. And you that is also, you know, maybe in one way or the other, you are backslided. Talk to God. Let God to have mercy and make you a new. After which you have done, you that is just giving your life to Christ now. The next thing to do is to apply for baptism. If you have a believing church around you, you can go and they will assist you by the grace of God. Or you can call any of the ministers on this mountain for counseling and for baptism. By the grace of God, the Lord has prepared them and they are ever ready to assist you as far as it pertains to the will of God. As you have confessed your sin, I congratulate you as we pray together now. Eternal Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, Amen. we thank you for your word that you have revealed to me and to your children. Lord, now I see that I have no reason to be angry when the truth is coming. Father, I pray your children that will also understand. You grant us the grace to be, to be happy with the truth and not to be angry with the truth anymore in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Grace, Father, for us, O oh God, to speak the truth with boldness, without the fear of man. Father, release upon us that grace to speak your word accurately in the name of Jesus Christ from today. Amen. And also, Amen. God, and those that just gave their life to you, to be able to remain in this mountain, the mountain of truth, never to be brought down by any power. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. For you, the fire of this meeting, the fire of this world. Check it, Lord. Have I had it or so tattered? Have mercy on me. Amen. I'm guilty. Anywhere your children are guilty when listening, because of one thought or the other, have mercy upon us all. Amen. And wash us with your precious blood. Amen. And this day, not stand against us on the last day. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is a mountain of solution and redemption prayer ministry worldwide. A.K.A. The Shepherd and the Bishop of Our Souls Ministries Worldwide.